Hi viewers, welcome to LMS Solution. Today we are going to see about how to use a programmable three-phase voltage source. That means three-phase programmable voltage source in MATLAB. So for that, just you to open that Simlink working working window, and then you go to uh, Simlink Library Browser. So here you can see that it comes to uh, Simscape, and then it comes to Power System. And power, and power system you can go that specialized technology right and then here you can see that uh, under that fundamental block you can see the electrical source so here you can see that three phase programmable voltage source okay so there are two sources in the electrical sources uh, category right so today we are going to, uh, going to see about this one how to use this one three phase programmable voltage source so just i'm going to drag and uh, keep it in that uh, working area so this is a three phase programmable voltage source so here i am going to click this one so in this you can see that right so there are options for providing the amplitude vrms phase to phase or line to line and then phase in degree and frequency right so here i am going to fix that mean here you can provide the the three phase uh, line to line voltage okay so normally for a uh, uh, our case is uh, is about 400 volt or 440 volt so here i'm going to provide that voltage will be 400 and then frequency will be 50 hertz okay i'm going to apply so it can uh, generate the three phase uh, 400 volt line, line to line voltages okay so next i'm going to use another block to measure the detail so for that i'm going to use measurements in measurement you can see that uh, three phase volt uh, three phase va measurement so i'm going to use this one so measuring the the detail voltage and current from that uh, source okay so next here you can see that uh, there is the another terminal is that nothing but neutral okay so i'm going to connect uh, this one by using that the ground so for that you go to elements so here you can see that this ground is there you take this one and then connect this ground here okay so next i am going to connect some load to measure the current because uh, when you connect this one you can see the voltage only you cannot see current because it's like a open circuit concept right so for that i am going to elements and then i am going to use three phase rlc load okay so here i am going to connect the load and also i am going to make this will be that mean uh, while click this one the, uh, that rlc load right you can see the uh, detail right you have to key in that uh, phase to phase voltage is 400 so source frequency will be 50 and then here i am going to make i am going to use only active power so that's why i am making inductive reactive power and the capacity reactive power equal to zero and i am going to apply so here you can see that source and is going to be connected to the load and here we are using voltage measurement so here i am providing symbol amplitude and that means a line to line voltage and frequency i am going to check the result so for the now to check the result i am going to use scope window okay to measure the the voltage and current so here i am going to use scope and then here i am going to click scope window and then i am going to click number of diode is 2 okay so one is for measuring voltage another one is for measuring current so here next to process i'm going to make the time will be 0 0.1 because we are using 50 hertz so then i'm going to see the five cycles okay so for that only i'm changing to 0 0.1 and one more thing here you can see that uh, while clicking the double clicking that uh, previous measurement you can see the detail the voltage measurement we are measuring phase to ground and then current machine we are measuring right so you have to make this one so if you don't want to measure current then you can make no then the uh, that label will be uh, disappear okay when you are going to make yes then you can see that terminal okay for measuring the current same for voltage also okay so in voltage you can measure phase to phase to ground or phase to phase voltages okay so next thing uh, see not to operate this one and definitely we need another plug nothing but power gi so just you to use power gi and placed it here uh, here i am going to simulate the model
so now we can see that uh, uh, we are uh, in the input source right the programmable source uh, the voltage will be we fixed at 400 volt right? line to line and uh, 50 hertz so here you can see that the, this is a voltage right so voltage uh, for 400 volt line to line the peak voltage will be around 325 volt so here you can see that we are getting 325 volt okay so and also you can see the frequency right uh, the single cycle will be take around 0 0.02 seconds right that means the frequency of the source will be 50 hertz okay so for uh, for example if you want to change the voltage level so you want some variation in the amplitude for a particular time right so you can use this one amplitude here so just i'm going to click amplitude and then here you can change the amplitude level also so so here you have to provide the time, time value so here already you can see that it have 0 0 0.1 0 0.15 0 0.2 and then here you can see the amplitude in per unit okay so for, from 0 to 0 0.1 and uh, the amplitude will be 1 from 0 0.15 to 0 0.1 to 0 0.15 the amplitude will be 0 0.8 from 0 0.15 to 0 0.2 amplitude will be 1.2 after that 0.2 seconds right amplitude will be 1 okay so here i'm going to make 0 0.24 and then i'm going to check the result so now you can see that yeah so for, from 0 to 0 0.1 amplitude will be maintained to one per unit that means 400 volt after that from 0 0.1 to 0 0.15 amplitude will change to 0 0.8 per unit okay and then from 0 0.15 to 0 0.2 right you can see that amplitude is increased at 1.2 per unit okay so if you want suppose we are going to test some system for a uh, sag and swell condition then during that time you can use this uh, three phase uh, programmable voltage source block okay now i'm going to change the amplitude also okay so here i'm going to change sorry frequency so i'm going to change the frequency uh, here you can see that step magnitude right uh, for frequencies is here the mentioned step right so here i'm just i'm providing 0.5 and then uh, variation timing i'm going to provide 0 0.1 to 0 0.15 okay and then i'm going to check the detail so here we not uh, see the as much variation so here i'm going to change to 100 okay now you can see that right uh, so from 0 to 0 0.1 second right the frequency will be 50 hertz okay so from 0, point, uh, 0 0.1 to 0 0.15 second right the frequency will be changed because we changed to 100 right so that's why the frequency will be changed here right so if you want any frequency deviation uh, for testing some model right so you can use this uh, three phase voltage source uh, programmable voltage source also so next time i'm going to um, keep that uh, none and then if suppose i'm going to uh, inject some harmonics okay for example i want to inject some harmonic that third or uh, that mean here you can see that you can provide a two kind of order of harmonics in the system so here you can see that the first one is having uh, third order uh, second one is having second order harmonic detail and then here the detail uh, in what time you want that harmonic level right harmonic uh, signal right then you can fix this time also here okay so you can fix this one so just i'm going to use only uh, third order okay so I am going to use this one only. So just I am going to make third order with amplitude of 0.2 per unit. I am going to use. Okay. So next time I am going to check the results. So what happened to that system results? So here you can see that the source having harmonic third order, third order harmonic in the source voltage. Okay. So you can uh, if you want you can include any other uh, order of uh, harmonic then you can add that one uh, detail also that means here you, you have to provide odd number odd number amplitude phase degree and sequence which sequence you want to 
uh, include zero sequence or positive sequence or negative sequence okay so what kind of harmonic uh, you have to inject right you can mention this block also so by using this uh, three phase program voltage source we can use for a, a different kind of testing purpose okay so this that's, uh, that's all about the uh, programmable uh, three, phase, uh, three phase programmable voltage source thanks for watching our videos kindly subscribe our channel and also click bell icon for notification about upcoming videos thank you thank you so much bye bye